Hello guys, welcome back. So today I'll be talking about Etihad Airways and they are coming down finally for recruitment to India after like long time. So I gave my interview in 2013 in Mumbai for Etihad Airways and I was with them for seven long years. So it was a wonderful experience. I would encourage you guys to go and apply for Etihad Airways. Go online and apply. You should give it a try. It is a wonderful airline to fly with. Today, let me just give you a quick brief about how Etihad Airways recruitment procedure happens. So first of all, you guys have to go online and apply. I guess you all have already done that and it's um, happening in Delhi. First of all, you need to make an account. And once you make an account, it's written Delhi, right? So just go click there. Uh, put in your details, your CV, your photo and why do you want to join Etihad Airways and why would you love to move to uh, Abu Dhabi, UAE. So fill in all that, write everything, check their website, get to know them better and fill in all your details and you need to be above 21 years of age and above 165 centimeters of height. So you can always give it a try even if you are not 165. This is just recently they have changed the height criteria. So basically when you reach there, they will anyways just check your height by you need to touch 212 centimeters. So what exactly happens on that day? Uh, once, you're in, you, once you get the invitation, uh, you will be given a short presentation by Etihad about the airline, about UAE. After which they will, the recruiters will call you one by one and have a quick chat with you. They will, that's when they will check your height. So they don't check weight, but they do check your height and there's a label put on top and you need to touch your fingers on that label on tip of your toe barefoot. So that's how they pass you if you, if you touch that to one, two centimeters. After which, uh, yeah, they will have a quick chat with you and about your CV. The first round is English test. So the English test is quite easy, not at all hard. It's like grammar. If you're good in your grammar, then you will easily pass that test. So yes, that's also a major elimination round, which I knew had happened when I had given my interview. So the English test is easy enough. So the group activity, the they will segregate you into group of five or six. Uh, there's a placard kept on the table so that's when uh, they will brief you like there is a placard kept and then there's a so and so topic to discuss and uh, basically what they're checking is how you work in a team how you involve other members in the team and how do you all discuss and coordinate with each other so they want to see all that so the recruiters will be walking around till the time you're discussing and they keep a watch they really keep a watch on you so who is talking, who is involving, who is taking initiative, who is smiling. Yeah, so all that. And uh, you get five to seven minutes, I guess, for this activity. And yes, there can be differences during the group activity. It happens. But it's up to you how you take it and how you involve the group to uh, coordinate and discuss when we have to talk to the interviewers. So once that is done, time is up. The one of the recruiter will come to your table and ask you, okay, start discussing individually one by one. You have to start discussing an example what I had. Uh, so in our placard, it was mentioned, uh, there was a map and there's, uh, you choose a location, whatever country you want, choose a location and you have to set up a restaurant with your partners. So these are my partners and we have to discuss what kind of cuisine, whether it should be fine dining or not, beachfront why that location you have selected so everything all this you discuss and one by one everyone talks about so they want to see how much you have involved in this activity how confident you are they're not checking your knowledge or anything but just want to see how you involve because as a crew you have to work in a team that's what they want this is a major elimination round here in my group we were six only two got selected two of us got selected so yes um, the way you speak the way you're showing your confidence, pleasing personality, all that matters. Reach the final interview once you clear this round. And that happened uh, the next day for me. What happens exactly is in the final interview, they ask you to fill a form. So once you reach there, uh, they will uh, give you, uh, distribute some forms. In that form also it's about your tattoos. If you have any, so you mark it and you get on that uh, drawing, the figure. 
and then your details and etc so somebody is there going to collect it and ask you if you have any tattoos and stuff and then you call you're called in a room and it's a one on one interview they ask you about yourself talk me through your cv and then uh, why do you want to join etihad airways why do you want to be a cabin crew uh, what excites you to be a cabin crew what are the if you're experienced crew then of course what are the difficulties and challenges faced by a cabin crew one situation where you have delighted a guest a situation where you have uh, had a difficult time with a guest the most important is cultural awareness you will be flying with different nationalities different passengers on board uh your crew is different every day every, every day different nationality so they will ask you what are the cultural differences and awareness that you know about how you take it and if you move to uae what are the differences in culture that you will face what are the challenges you will face so all this will be asked in your personal interview and they will also check for your scars and tattoos this is the whole procedure of that agenda of that day assessment day so it is good it is they are very welcoming warm and very friendly so just smile be confident be positive etihad is an amazing airline to work with i was there for a really long time and the growth is good real good you grow fast and you get to explore so many places you travel to different destinations you have so many aircrafts to fly with different variants and different layovers and tax free salary of course and you get accommodation so it's wonderful etihad is really good i would recommend please go and try for etihad airways okay that's it from my side for now and if you have any questions that you want to ask me if i have missed out on something please do comment down below i will definitely reply and until then ciao and all the best